you have an algorithm which is running on one server. People will be sending out requests for using this algorithm and in turn your system is going to respond back with the results. If your algorithms become famous enough and you start getting let's say 10,000 or 1 million hits per second, what do you think will happen to your service? Your service will not be able to perform the same way as it was performing with let's say 1000 requests with the same set of resources that are available. Scalability will increase, but the delay also will increase 
to an extent. Next difference is in case of vertical scaling, it is very easy to maintain consistency because there is only one server, there is only one service which has been hosted. So maintaining consistency between the requests is possible. In fact, you can also store state at server side in such cases. Whereas in case of horizontal scaling, it is almost consistent, but it is not 100% consistent because let's say if request A of the user is coming into let's say node A, the next request goes to node B. So node B is not aware what was the state of this request on server side because that was on node A and node B is not aware. So such things can happen and this is where concepts like Redis comes handy. So in case of vertical scaling, this is very easy to maintain consistency. Whereas in case of horizontal scaling, it's difficult. It's, it's not like it is not possible, but it is difficult to maintain consistency when compared to vertical scaling. Next difference is in case of vertical scaling, you'll have a hardware limit. So for instance, let's say if you are increasing memory of your server for uh, when you have only one deployment in form of vertical scaling and you are increasing memory uh, as and when the number of requests are increasing, then there will be a threshold after which you cannot increase the memory because of the hardware limit or any other limit which comes in. Whereas in case of horizontal scaling, there is no such limit because the number of machines that you can increase, the number of nodes that you can increase for deployment of the service is almost unlimited. So horizontal scaling comes very handy when we try to deploy very large scale systems such as let's say Hotstar or Netflix wherein we are having a lot of requests coming in for a video streaming etc. So horizontal scaling in such scenarios works very well. Now the next question to ask is whether we should go with vertical scaling or horizontal scaling. I think there is no right or wrong answer here because we need to understand that this is where system design comes into picture. We need to take pros of both vertical scaling and horizontal scaling and create a mix and match out of it based on the requirements we have. For instance, let's say if I have a service request which is only going to serve say 100 requests per second, then I don't think this is even required to have a horizontal scale because we need to understand that uh, we need not have a large scale system for everything. If it is a desktop application, I would rather go with a vertical scaling sort of uh, deployment. Whereas if it is a large scale system, I will have to go with the horizontal scaling sort of system. So we need to understand that there are pros and cons of both vertical scaling and horizontal scaling and we need to create a system design out of both. That is how we can have a complete system design which can perform well. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you like it. In case if you did, do not forget to hit the subscribe button. I say, design strong.